Welcome to Connect, Children of God. Thanks for joining me, my new and my old friends. Today, our scripture and story comes from Luke 24, 36 to 48. It's talking about how Jesus is appearing to the disciples following the resurrection. Remember Easter two weeks ago when Jesus rose from the grave? Well, the disciples have been a little unsure and afraid and not sure what's going to happen. So that's where we find ourselves in the story today. Now, I want to talk a little bit before then about proof of proving who you are. Now, some of you already know me, so you know who I am. But what if you had never met me before and I had to prove who I am? Well, I might do that by using my driver's license because that is a picture of me and tells some information about me. I might be able to do it with a passport. Or if I needed to go to the hospital, I had to prove who I was with my health insurance card. Or maybe with my birth certificate because that tells my information about who I am and where I was born and in what day and what year. So the disciples in our story today are asking for proof that this is Jesus. Well, Jesus didn't have any of the things I just showed you, but he did say to them, feel the, the scars in my hands where the nails were when I was nailed to the cross. Feel the sore on my side where they poked me and pierced me with the spear. He also said to them, could a ghost or someone be able to eat lunch, he took up some of their food and ate that. So those were ways that Jesus proved who he was. And he said, don't you remember, I've been telling you that I will come back and I will always be with you. And here I am. And little by little, the disciples started to believe and realize that this really was Jesus. But that was only step one. Step two was Jesus telling them that now they needed to go out and share what Jesus had been teaching them and showing them through the miracles he had performed. It was their job now, as he ascended into heaven, to go out and share God's good news. And guess what? They did that. They went far and wide sharing God's love sharing and inspiring kindness with each other and sharing the message that Jesus wanted them to share. And that is our job now today too. It didn't end with the disciples. It is our job to go out and share. Now, how can we do that? Well, we can tell people about God. We can also invite our friends and family and neighbors to come to church with us. And we can also do that by listening to the stories of the Bible and reading the Bible and sharing that kindness and that love that we learn from the scriptures with others. Those are all ways for us to share the good news. And I hope you'll go out this week and do that. Our craft today, I hope you have downloaded from the description in the YouTube, has a direction sheet like this. And then it has the front sheet that we will be coloring that looks like this. And then it has a sheet that's colored like this. And what it's going to do is make us a way to learn the books of the Bible of the New Testament. Like for instance, our story today came from the book of Luke, which is in the book, which is in the New Testament. Now, the good way to learn it is to do just about four books at a time and then go back and see if you can remember them. So I've started with my sheet like this, and I've already colored that. But you would take time to color that. And then you would cut that out. And you'll notice at the top of the circle, it says cut this out, and it has a little triangle peak there at the top. So once you've gone around in a circle and cut that out, like this, then you're going to cut out that little V here in the top. Okay, so I've done that. There you go. See, and it looks like that. And then I will cut out the color sheet that shows all the books of the New Testament. 
And you see here, here's Luke right here. These are the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And the last couple weeks, we've been doing a lot in the Gospels because that's where the story of Easter is and the resurrection and the crucifixion. Who knows if the stories of Jesus are in the New Testament or the Old Testament. If you said New Testament, then you are correct. Only the stories of Jesus are in the New Testament. So now I've cut out my other circle. So what we're going to do is line them up, see like this, one behind the other. And if you have a little thing called a braid that sticks through and you can fold that up, or I'm gonna use a little piece of straw. So I'm going to poke through my dot here right in the middle. And then I'm going to stick my little piece of straw through there so that it'll be kind of like a game spinner, like when you play a board game and you can spin it around. So I poke through there and then I'm going to cut off a little piece of straw and I'm going to stick it through the hole there. Okay. So that is something that you can do at home. And when it's through there, then you can practice your books of the Bible by turning the table, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So then I can go backwards and see if I can remember. Okay, if I turn to Mark, what came before Mark? Matthew. And what came after Mark? Luke. So I hope you have fun creating your New Testament spinner and you practice the books of the Bible. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for bringing my new and old friends to share our story from Luke today. Help us to realize that we too can be good disciples and share the news of God and his love with each other. Amen.